Welcome back everyone to another video. Today we are going to break down our hunt for Brady. How did it go? We opened a $555 2023 Bowman draft. If you haven't yet, make sure you go back, check out that video uh, because this video won't make too much sense. Uh, and we'll also kind of spoil all the cards we got. So then come back after and watch this video. This is something I'm new to the hobby, but this is something that I don't very, I don't see oft, oft often on yeah. YouTube. I've never, I've never really seen somebody break down their financial results. I'm a finance guy, so I like to analyze this start, this part of the hobby in opening boxes. One thing in particular, I think people don't. <coughs> Uh, make people don't want you to know maybe they're not hiding it intentionally is how much spending money in this hobby maybe doesn't necessarily result yes. into having the the worth of the cards and you need to you need to get lucky to lose just a little bit of money is what we're trying what we're starting to find out yeah so this is uh if, if you're new to the channel basically me and sage started this channel we're gonna see how long we can last. We don't have a number yet, but eventually there will be a point of where we're either not making enough money on YouTube or we're not making enough money off of the cards that the channel will die. <laughs> so uh, we're just gonna see how long we can go and these videos will kind of keep you guys uh, updated on our, our success and where we're at. So $555 box, you're yes. hoping to pull some and, valuable and, cards here. And I think we got in at a good price. Some of the boxes are, online are going for 600. I think some around 550, maybe 525 is the lowest I've seen it. So I think 555 is the right price to pay for this. Okay. And right now all the cards are hot. Everybody's talking about this product that just got released a couple weeks ago. Brady hype is real. So the first thing I did is these Bowman Chrome first. That's really the there's two cards you collect for baseball, Bowman Chrome first and Topps Chrome rookie. So when the prospect has yet to play in the majors, it's their first card and it's prospecting and people hunt the prospects before they even make the team. A lot of these players won't even make the team. Pitchers have, have less of a shelf life than hitters. A lot of good pitchers have five, six year careers. Good hitters have 20 year careers. So it's very similar to football where quarterbacks are, are more valuable than, than running backs. Good quarterbacks can play 20 years. Great quarterbacks. So what you're hunting for is the next Mike Trout, the next Ronald Acuna. And so generally speaking, I said that the pitcher prospects are gonna be worth a dollar a card here, and the hitters are gonna be worth $2 a card. I looked up a lot of these. A lot of these are dollar a card. Some of these like Rhett here, right off the bat, his card's worth three dollars. So a good approximate approximate guess is that we open forty two dollars worth of hitter bulk and twenty four dollars worth of pitcher kind of bulk for sixty six dollars of our Bowman Chrome first. This is the this is the flagship card of the Bowman product. Just the it's a shiny it's a shiny uh, chrome base card and it's really nice you got me kind of excited because initially i thought those cards were worth that much value but no and that's that's there's the whole 24, stack yeah, yeah there's a stack of here it's gotcha. just the top of the stack okay inserts now we're at the inserts right now the product's hot so these inserts are selling uh for a lot of money this wyatt langford guy in the left he's a gator and uh and on the right we got him a couple of times jackson holiday you'll see in there a couple of times our guy rhett is back Anyways, just some small small dollar, but it adds up. $33 worth of value. Okay. I'm happy to see this. Refractors. You get two refractors a pack, and the pitcher refractors on the left, our guy Red again, that's our that's our boy. Uh, he was one of the top picks of the draft, and wow. uh, he's, he's going to be on the Reds after they call him up, but I guess he juices 98, 99 miles per hour. Jeez. We so, got a couple $7 refractors here? Yes, these are some of the hitter wow. prospects that are coming up. This is Mariner shortstop there, and then Jack and Colin there. Wow, okay. So, so good value there with our refractors, I guess, yes. right? Yes, and then you see some of these pitcher refractors and some of these hitter refractors, the skinny guy is worth a dollar there <laughs> in the bottom. We need the skinny guy to get a lot of weight on him. <laughs> a lot of weight. Yeah. All right, special. These are stained glass, lunar glow, Yellow out of 75, speckle blue, aqua pink out of 199. Yeah, so a couple 
This is where uh, you get some big ones. Yeah, we got the skinny guy. He's yellow, seventy-five. You can see it there. So we need we need to have a bigger name. Hit yes, that car. we did not have any big names on these special ones. So gotcha. they're just worth a couple bucks. Even okay. the yellow, uh, yellow one in a top prospect would have been worth fifty bucks, forty bucks. If we but, got it. Yeah. yeah, but we got a kind of a no namer. Gotcha. So still somewhat valuable. Twenty dollars total for these special ones. Nice looking cards though. Yeah. All right, the big ones. What do we got? All right, two big ones here. This out of ten, that was an amazing pull. Wow. I've been watching watching a lot of box openings. It's very rare to find something out of ten. And we didn't he, even really care about that card when we pulled it. Yeah, and he's a medium prospect, not a top guy, a hitter. If we would have gotten this at a ten of one of the top guys, you're oh. talking a couple hundred bucks. But we'll take the twenty five bucks and Tommy Hawk. He's a little speedster. Then two pitcher autos, base autos. We were hoping for numbered autos and non-pitchers. So $10 each. This is pretty much the bottom of the bottom. This two autographs. The worst that we could have done. Worst we could have done. Okay. And then Nazam. No. Nazam. <laughs> Boom. $100. We didn't know about this guy. I checked him out. This refractor auto is worth 100 bucks, And I love to see this. I almost texted you or called you immediately because oh we weren't sure, but gosh. I wanted to save this for the for the reveal. hundred dollars. That's our second biggest card behind the Harris pull, uh, signature. Yes, uh, right. Depending wow. on uh, where Harris ends up, uh, you know, it's similar. So these are two biggest cards. So this is wow. our biggest card. This guy is a baller. He's coming through, coming through the farm system right now. And uh, I did. I forgot to see third, fourth round pick. We'll look him up, but uh, and we'll follow this guy now. Yeah, I'm rooting for this guy now. Nazan. Nazan. Zanny. Let's go. And here's our summary. So just kind of a breakdown of all of the cards that we got. You see, 311, and we spent 555. It's a 56 return. Where I think the sweet spot to return is around 75%. Okay. That means you did, you had a loss, but you got some value. Of course you want to make money, but we're starting to realize that's not as realistic. Yeah. We have yet at this point, um, and you'll see all the breakdowns moving forward. We have, yeah. yet, this might be our best box. Yeah. Well, we had that one inception box. The inception was pretty one. good. Uh, that was good value, but so yeah, 56, percent uh return of value or 44 percent loss however you want to view it yeah but uh so what our goal what do you think our goal is our goal is to have maybe some of these hopefully the majority is like 76 return of value 76 percent 75 percent return of value and then have a couple where it's like 500 percent return yes. of value right, right. like we you haven't had up. we haven't had any to like Make up for all the losses. Right. You open the gold refractor and it's a top prospect. It's the guy. And it's the autograph and it's sold for $4,500, right? Keeps so us alive you, so for you a little know, longer. Right. Now, it wouldn't be a realized gain if we held onto it, of course. <clears throat> yeah. But we will say, hey, the value here was 500%. I mean, in a perfect world, you open a Brady auto that's yeah. going for twenty grand. That. Keeps us alive for 20, at least a year. That's twenty thousand percent right there. <laughs> so, and then of course the twelve of fifty Brady, the Holy Grail, five hundred grand. That is five hundred thousand. That's retirement, and we're just <laughs> doing card openings for the rest of our life. Yes. Um, all right. Well, good breakdown. If you guys enjoyed, is that the, I'm yeah, the last? Yeah, that's slide. it. If you guys enjoyed these breakdowns, let us know by liking the video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss anything. Drop a comment down below for the algorithm that helps us out. And again, the whole purpose of this channel is just to basically see how long we can keep it going. I absolutely love opening cards. I love the thrill of it. I love like these two, like seeing this Nizan guy. I'm going to be rooting for this guy, paying attention to him. I love that aspect. Uh, so we both love the hobby itself. So we're not really mm. necessarily looking to like, oh, we're trying to make millions of dollars off of this. However... There was, there will be a, a point in time where the wives will be like, "All right, they, enough is enough." They cut us off. So, <laughs> uh, by you guys supporting us, watching our videos, subscribing, that helps it keep it going a little bit. And hopefully, one of these videos coming up, we actually pull a monster uh, yes. that gives us some return. We're due. Yes, we're due, due for a monster. We're due. I really like baseball, so maybe we'll do another one of these baseballs and see if we can beat the three hundred and eleven. I, I like think that. That's a low bar to set. Three hundred and eleven. I like that. All right, we'll see you guys in the next one. Later.
See ya.